Liz Young from the Council of the Arts is back with me this morning. Now the Council is the leading arts and cultural organization in the Keys. It connects audiences from around the world to galleries, museums, theaters, festivals, and more. Be prepared now because they have a very exciting 2013 schedule up ahead. Liz, thank you so much for being back with me oh, this morning. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thank you. <laughs> Liz, you had a wonderful year in 2012 and you are gearing you. up for another wonderful year in 2013. Well, I feel very blessed. We've got such a thriving, flourishing uh, arts community up and down the Keys. And as you mentioned, the Arts Council does cover the entire Keys. And we have, um, we've got an inaugural project that I wanted to share with you and everybody, which is called the Connections Project, which uh, was developed by some of our board members to emphasize access to the arts, community-based arts, so that you don't just have to buy a ticket to go to the theater or a music event or walk into a gallery. Of course, all those things are fantastic and a, certainly a way we do connect. But we have something called the Mosaic Project. I brought one for you. It's a six by six canvas that can be picked up at any location. We've got about five locations between here and uh, Key Largo. And we're asking artists and community members to create a canvas. And then they will be assembled uh, the first week of March, 312 canvases wow. Wow. and it will create a mosaic and we will uh, then be selling something called a blind buy sort of a raffle sort of a lottery system where you will um, have an opportunity to get either a Deborah Yates or a Chris Sandifer or a David Hover one of our wonderful local artists uh, big pine artists or perhaps the police chief or the sheriff or the county commissioner who will create one or a student um, it's really about that sort of connection and access and show the beauty of the keys. So we're very excited about that. Um, of course, another amazing connection for us, which started four years ago, is Noel Paul Stuckey. I know his picture's up in, in our rotating slideshow, but uh, Noel is um, Paul of Peter, Paul, and Mary. He did two concerts at the Tennessee Williams Theater for us. And this year we decided to have a very intimate setting, and Tom Oosterhout of um, Count Color has offered up his magnificent historical home, Casa Antigua. So that is Saturday, February 9th. Very limited seating. Uh, tickets are on sale at keysticks.com. And Noel um, had his a new album produced this past August called One and Many, and it was uh, released on the 50th anniversary mm -hmm. date of Peter, Paul, and Mary. Really? And it's very near and dear to his heart. Mm -hmm. It has um, really a compilation of work and lyrics about our times. Mm -hmm. And I think it's very prolific in his um, use of music and mm -hmm. social change. And it, there's no way it doesn't touch your heart. Oh, yeah. And I promise it will be a, a magical key. I mean, I know we have great things that we right. always say, only in the keys, <laughs> only here. How does this happen? Mm -hmm. How do we get so lucky to have mm -hmm. such amazing things happen here? But this is truly going to be, you know, one of our top tests. Don't Absolutely. miss you know, just top ten. It's going to be amazing. And it will be an intimate setting in Tom's place, Casa Antigua. Oh my God, in that beautiful courtyard, uh -huh. tropical gardens, um, magical music. Um, it, it's going to be fantastic. And I've heard a lot of the music and, and, and it's, it, it's sort of on a level of its own, mm -hmm. you know. I mean, it's prolific and he's a legend. Yeah, he absolutely is a legend. And I'm so delighted that he and his wife Betty have fallen in love with the keys mm -hmm. and he does like to come and play a little golf, and, mm -hmm. and I'm very proud, too. We're going to bring him into the Key West High School. When he was here last year, um, he did a workshop with the choral and band students, mm -hmm. and they were like, he wrote Blowing in the Wind. He sang Blowing in the Wind. And <laughs> they, they got it. Away. They got it. They <laughs> right. got it. Um, how it was neat fantastic. for students yeah, to yeah. learn so, from someone. Yeah, because it's talent. about songwriting, and mm -hmm. it's about a, one person making a, making a shift mm -hmm. in community awareness and mm -hmm. on a global level. So, mm -hmm. and the kids get it, I think. Yeah. Um, and then last but not least, we have um, our own little bottle cap night coming up on January 25th. So we're going to have a members uh, art, visual art show in the Gato building called On the Street Where You Live. Mm -hmm. And that's a very general term also. I, I hope to have conch houses, white picket fences, oceans, maybe a couple New York um, skyscraper, cityscape 
uh, paintings to put into the Gatto, and that's part of our art and public buildings. Again, outreach and creating a beautiful environment for the people who work in the Gatto building. Mm -hmm. we, you guys are doing such yeah, a great job. All on our website, keysarts.com, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. we also take lots of phone calls, yeah. so you don't mm -hmm. have to go on the computer. Right, and get your tickets now for February 9th February at Cafe 9th. Antigua. Keys Ticks. Wonderful. Liz, thank you so much for being on the show with me this morning. And before we go, real quick, what has to be created on this? Is it art or just a scene of the keys? or Anything you want. Anything. Um, it's really just about um, whatever anybody wants. Mm -hmm. You could mount a photograph. We talked about somebody could crochet or needlepoint and mm -hmm. mount it. It could be 3D. It could be a collage. Mm -hmm. um, we've got workshops, too in Marathon, Key Largo, and Big Pine, and a couple in Key West uh, to be announced, where if you don't have paint, if you don't have acrylic or oil paint, you could go to one of these workshops and create mm -hmm. something. But okay. I think just inspired, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's going to be fascinating to see. I, I mean, I'm excited. Yeah, you'll uh, have to show photos, for sure. Yes. On well, I, I promise to bring some. <laughs> yeah. Liz, thanks for being here with me this morning. I'm going to take a quick break. I'll be right back after these messages. Don't go away. Thanks.